r slash ask men. Accomplished from 6807 says. Men, would you consider adoption if you wanted children? Why? For context, I'm 23 female, and even though I'm still in my early 20s, I have always wanted to adopt and foster kids. A lot of men have told me this is an instant deal breaker. So, those of you who do want kids, is adoption something that crosses your mind? Mega Creek says. Personally, I'd pretty heavily consider adoption, atheist at a young age. Being around my sister and friends who have gone through pregnancy put me off of it a bit, haha. <laughs> For most men who don't want to, I'd probably guess it's about the idea of raising someone else's child and all that. Though there are some more understandable issues, like having to worry about biological parents, etc. Did they tell you why it was a deal breaker for them? Accomplished from 6807 says. Yes, exactly what you said. They want to raise their own blood. I did read some insightful responses here, concerns about the child's genetics and mental health. It's valid and I understand. Also, I think a lot of people want to be there for every stage. From newborn to teen. Occupical says. Pregnancy does not make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. It looks honestly. Terrible to me. Selvain says. I wouldn't be opposed. If I'm with the right woman, then absolutely, I think love and care for each other is most important. So long as you both share a similar vision for the future, including kids, then I don't think this is a deal breaker. I think I would prefer to have a child of my own, but if you have good reasons for wanting to adopt, there are plenty, then I don't see why the right partner would say no. Education Alween 798 says. Yes. My, now, ex-wife and I adopted a little girl. The second I walked into that nursery, I knew she was mine. It was an unbreakable bond. I'll always cherish that moment. It was a love I've never felt. I have two biological boys as well, but having a daughter was different. She was my little angel. Let's to dinner says. 35 meters 100% would adopt. I have kids now, and if presented with the option, would definitely make room for another. My preference would be a child that was potty trained already, but that wouldn't be a deal breaker either. Swimming back 7362 says. I don't want children, but I'm adopted. I consider myself very lucky. There are a lot of kids out there that just need one person or couple to take a chance on them. Every disaster 7018 says. No. Might sound cruel, but I would only want kids that are my actual blood. If it's to fulfill my need for wanting kids. I will however adopt a kid, if it makes logical sense. If my sister and her partner die. I would adopt my niece and nephew. If my best friend and his wife die and his kid would end up on foster care I would adopt. But adopt or foster kids I don't know, is not my thing. Respect to anyone who can, but I couldn't do it. Another exception would be, if I choose to date a woman who already has kids. If those kids are very young, and we form a close bond and they would see me as their actual father then perhaps I would adopt them as well, but OFC only if the kids and mother would want that. My opinion might change if I, or whoever I want to spend the rest of my life with is infertile. CSL 512 says. Two people in a relationship should be on the same page about major things like that. If it's a deal breaker that quickly then that is a positive thing, then you don't have to waste time on them and can move on to other candidates. Flaming Trials says. Sure, why not? To care for someone or some owns is part of life. WX Rebel says. Having adopted a kid, yes. And I'd like to do it again frankly. I can't understand why it would be a deal breaker for anyone. It's a very selfish and close minded stance to claim it's someone else's kid. But if that's their view, then they are probably not the right person for you. Goldie Radish says. 
I've been considering it, and slowly been looking into adoption. I may be single, but I like the idea of giving a child without a home one with me, and I don't feel the desire to have to be blood related to be my child. I'm single, and after some bad breakups decided that, if I want to have a child, as long as it fulfills me, and a deeper level, then I'll make the plans to do so. But I rather do, that then one day realize I married the wrong person, and chose the wrong mother for my child. R slash ask men. I am view says. Guys who got your first gf later in life. 30s slash 40s. Advice needed. I'm approaching 32 and never had a gf. Now I can say that it's definitely by choice. Have been with a high number of women, mostly one night stands. The 5, 10 ish good opportunities I had never really worked out. Spend most of my 20s in a bit of a drug induced haze, smoking weed and drinking quite often. Post pandemic I've righted the ship but unfortunately still haven't managed the steady gf part. I stay active, been told I'm a decent guy and pleasant personality, but I'm just not meeting the kind of quality I'd like to attract. I've cleaned up my act, got a stable job making decent money, so things are mostly going well. Any advice for me? My goal for the year is to try one new thing a month, which I'm still on track for, and I'm practically sober now too. Monkey on this rock says. Best advice I've seen for dating outside of the 25 age range is to not close yourself off to female friendships. Go to these classes not looking to pick up, but to actually just enjoy the classes slash people around it. Even girls in relationships will help match up a polite non-threatening guy friend. Baberung says. I'm 41 and I got my first GF at the ripe old age of 32, I'm actually still with her, and we have a house and kid together. I don't know if I have any to offer though. All I did was suffer in online dating purgatory then one day got lucky when I came across her profile. Muted preparation 13 says. I don't think I'll ever get one. Tried everything. Man Zero Steel 93 says. Got my first GF at 30. Been single since 16. Honestly. It was just dumb luck. I was always unconfident and insecure. Didn't really start in growing till 28. Went gym. Did the usual circle jerk reddit echo chamber shit. Improved myself. Thing is. I'm still improving. I'm learning a lot about myself with her. It's only been 6 months. And well it's a bit rocky. But that's beside the point. I just literally thought she was cute. And asked her out. Never actually asked anyone out in person before. Ever. So yeah. Dumb luck. Ad misunderstood says. Maybe an unpopular suggestion, but keep it to yourself, as long as you possibly can without directly lying about it. Many people might view it as a red flag, and not give you a real chance as a result. Humorous Prince says. I'm 32, never had a single relationship, kiss, chance etc. I mean you said one night stands which isn't for me, but you've still had something, I have literally had zero my whole life, apart from hitting 30 in moderate depression and loneliness. 420 says. I'm not in your situation. But it's say you're going to end up finding a pretty good gf, by doing one new thing a month. If you make one of those things a hobby. Join a hiking group, cooking classes, photography classes. You could alternatively try an app like Bumble, and put in your preferences long term relationship in the prompt asking what you're looking for, not sure if Tinder has it now. I would try the former though, if you're really not looking for one night stands. SNWNS26 says. The reality is you can do everything, right and it can still never happen or work out. Sounds like you're on the right track though, focus on yourself, and if it does happen, you'll be in a good place physically and mentally which will only make a relationship easier. 
you're already ahead of plenty of guys by at least hooking up in your 20s and getting that out of your system. Most don't even get that luxury and it's like trying to find a job without experience if you didn't. Graphic Knives says. It turned to be easy once the right person was found. She decided this is it. I decided same. We live happily ever since. Craig Yulaperson says. I'm 31, and I'm now in my first serious relationship, which has been a few months. Definitely went through my 20s thinking I didn't need a relationship, and this year also felt like my life was very balanced. Have a decent paying job, and can almost buy my own place. But also felt like something was missing, and wanted a relationship. I think I just wanted someone that kinda made my life richer, and not someone to make me happy in a sense. I have also never felt a spark with practically no one, but my GF was someone I had an instant connection with. It wasn't like I had a clear list of what I was looking for, but definitely a few things that had to be there. Like obvious ones, like chemistry, but also someone it was easy to have fun with. I also think someone that it felt easy to share stuff with and have an emotional connection early on with. Someone being as open as me was really important. I also felt like I was really open and just put myself in situation where I was forced to meet and get to know a lot of people. Within like the first two week of this new year, I had like dates every few days lined up. And before that I had like date once a year or even less frequently. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.